So you're thinking about moving to Fairview, Texas? Well, have you, you've never heard of Fairview, Texas? That's right, this is the hidden gem of Collin County. And what is Collin County? Collin County is actually the, the county that is north of Dallas. So of course, Dallas is inside of Dallas County. Well, north of Dallas is Collin County. That's where you find Frisco and Plano and Prosper and all these suburbs that you hear about all the time. But nobody ever talks about Fairview and it is one of the absolute best suburbs over here but I tell you what just doesn't get a lot of press or a lot of uh, uh, people just don't hear about it that's the thing and look at everything you've got going on here in Fairview this is just the tip of the iceberg so what we're going to do is what we always do is we're going to take you around uh, show you some different homes and different price points so you can see what may fit inside your budget we'll give you a little market recap of what's going on here in Fairview but ultimately this is a great suburb if you're thinking about moving to North Dallas. So we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas and suburbs just like Fairview, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market here in Dallas. My name is Levi. You know, the team and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to make their move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. So as I mentioned, you know, we are here in Fairview and what most people don't know is that this is the hidden gem i would say of north dallas and it is uh the number 10 10th the 10th ranked uh school system in the state of texas is actually number two in collin county and you're talking about collin county you've got schools like uh, frisco plano prosper all a plus rated schools well, actually, Fairview ranks number two. It's the Lovejoy Independent High School or uh, Independent School System. So you can look that up if you want to. But this is just a small suburb, just east of Allen, and really just kind of southeast of McKinney. So it's really right here in the middle of everything. Uh, and you've got some great homes, a lot of new construction. You can kind of see behind me. I mean, look at this. You've got you've got the Bowling Alley. You've got uh, the Irish pub right there. Even look at even town hall. Look at the town hall. That's pretty, uh, pretty cool looking modern esque. You've got cheek monkeys. I have no idea what cheek monkeys is, but I assume that's going to be something uh, great for the kiddos. Uh, what else? you got the theater? You got the theater right there. You've got J C Penney. I didn't even know those still existed. Uh, but you've got a J C Penney. This might be the last J C Penney in all of the United States. So you see there also. Uh, like history preservation here in Fairview, but they've got a Whole Foods over here. They've got Zoe's Kitchen. You know, you've got Starbucks. All of all of this is brand new construction. This is really, I would, it, it literally is a hidden gem right here in North Dallas. Just again, east of Allen. Uh, so you're not that far from from uh, Frisco as well. You're not that far from McKinney, the historic downtown as well. But you've got some great homes out here, some great options. The homes are ranging anywhere from around uh, 400,000 all the way up to 3 million. And if you're looking for some land, then this is also has some great, uh, there's some great lots out here and you're going to find acreage as well. And a lot of those homes in the million dollar plus range are going to uh, have one, two or three or even more acres. So if you're looking for a little bit of space around it, but you want to be still close to everything, but then you also want an amazing school district, then Fairview is a great option for you. I tell you what, it gets overlooked all the time. Uh, you know, we direct some clients out here, or at least show them this opportunity. Some people still kind of want to be in you know, the Frisco or Plano area because it clearly that's uh, a lot more concentrated, you could say. So it's right in the middle of everything, but this is really not that far. So if you're going to be working in the North Dallas area like Plano or Frisco, check out your commute time, see what it's going to be, but it shouldn't be that big of a difference uh, coming from Fairview. So, but this is a beautiful area. Everything's brand new over here. Again, you got everything you need right here in Fairview, but again, everything else, McKinney, Allen, you got the Allen Outlet Malls, you've got Costco, uh, you've got the McKinney Historic District, which is the best in North Dallas, is, in my opinion. You've got Frisco, uh, everything you need right around here. It's pretty awesome. So 
let's just uh, let's just cut the chit chat and let's go check out some different homes and some different price points. Let's see what may fit inside your budget. Then we'll probably finish up with a little market recap and we'll also uh, take you around some of the neighborhoods, drive around a little bit so you can see them for yourself. So let's get after it. All right, so we're coming up here in our first neighborhood here in Fairview and a really nice, uh, this is really a nice cul-de-sac area. As you can see, I mean, I would say the homes are a little, uh, a little close together over here, but the a lots average around just over 6,000 square feet, which is not too bad. But we're coming up on here. You can see a lot of these were built, I would say, early. Well, they're built in the, I wouldn't say. I would tell you they are built in the early 2000s. I know because I looked it all up uh, for you. So, uh, But we're coming up here on this uh, house right here. So what you will see is a actually a, looks a lot smaller than it is, but it's a five-bedroom, four-bath. It's 34 hundred square feet just over it's actually 3434 square feet so uh, five bedroom four bath uh, this one was built in 2006 and it's about a yeah about 163 dollars a square foot and again really uh nice 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 uh nice home <laughs> nice home it is uh you'll see there but otherwise oh and it's 500 59,000. That's, I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something on there. The price point would be 559,000. It's a little warm today. I don't know, maybe the sun's getting to me, but uh, it's actually not that bad for being uh, mid-June right now. It, it, we've actually uh, delayed the heat quite a bit. I think it's about 95 today, but hey, I like it. I love the warm weather here in Texas. If you're not used to it, uh, then hurry up and move here so you can get acclimated. But you'll see, you know, pretty nice, quiet neighborhood, very mature trees everywhere. Uh, so that provides some shades. A lot of these, some of these homes have pools. This one, I did not see a pool in, but again, you know, again, uh, built in 2006. So uh, it's mostly updated. It's, uh, it's moving ready. It just really depends on your preference and your taste uh, on if that style would fit for you. But otherwise, it's a uh, great opportunity right here. We're right down the street to where, uh, where we just came from. Uh, from you know there, there was a 24-hour fitness over there a huge brand new 24-hour fitness the Whole Foods that whole section where we started the video out it, this is literally uh, I don't even think uh, maybe one to two minute drive down from there so uh, this is you got close proximity to all of that but then you're also you're also uh, you know right here in this nice quiet neighborhood so but let's just uh, let's take you for a cruise around this neighborhood so you can see it for yourself and then let's go check out the next house. All right, so we're coming up on our next property here in Fairview, and this is really what Fairview is all about. You can kind of see behind me, you've got much larger lots in this area, and this is uh, what you'll find coming up on this house. This house is actually gonna be over an acre, uh, which is really nice. It's priced right at $850,000. It's a four bedroom, four bath, and I'll show you. It's a little hidden though. It's a little hidden though right behind these trees but it's a one story, uh, it's over 3,200 square feet. It's 1.1 acres, got an amazing pool in the background, or in the backyard, uh, not in, in the background too. They've got some really nice landscaping here as well. And again, all, all of these homes out in this area, 
gonna be on acre plus lots, which is really nice because it gives you a lot of space and uh, you know, some a little bit of privacy. Although, you know, you can see um, even across the way, you've got, you've got uh, the dad playing ball with this uh, kid right now out in the yard and you got plenty of yard to do that. Looks like his dad's chasing around the ball right now. But otherwise, coming up on here, uh, really nice landscape you have going on over here. And also, uh, again, you can kind of see the fence area in the back. And, and uh, I'm sure we threw some picture ups, pictures up there for you as well. But again, nice pool area backed up on all the trees back there as well. I love these trees blooming here with the purple flowers. Um, but backed up on all the trees back there as well. So you don't have anything that you, you don't have to look at neighbors or anything like that at all. So it's really nice. Uh, it's a beautiful home. And again, this is what around, uh, it's about $260 a square foot, 262. So that's what it would be. Uh, on the price per square foot again when you're out here you're getting a little bit more land and of course some of the some of the lots out here have more acreage as well so it really just depends but that's the great thing about Fairview is you really get a good kind of country feel out here but you're you're really right down the street from everything this is still right down the road from where we came from where you have everything you need uh, whole foods 24-hour fitness the Zoe's I mean all that commercial space the theater the bowling alley everything so and it's so nice and quiet out here and peaceful. It's absolutely amazing. So definitely something you want to keep on the list. If you want a little bit more space, you want some acreage. And they're very well priced out here in Fairview. I'll tell you what, you can really find some good, uh, some good property out here. So they're absolutely amazing. So anyways, let's go uh, cruise around the neighborhood so you can see it for yourself. All right, you guys are in for a treat on this one. So as I mentioned in the intro, you know, homes out here range from 400,000 up to 3 million. We're actually gonna check out a, a $2 million property, but you can see you, we were passing. Did you notice the longhorns over in the field when we were driving over here? And also we just passed, I mean, there's horses out here. Look at all this land out here with the, with the gates and everything, or the fence line. Uh, night, everything spaced out, plenty of property. I saw a for sale by owner. Uh, on the back side too so not sure what the uh, what the stats were on that property but man they, it just had the fence lines I mean look at this house too right there that house is amazing definitely a, it's a I say definitely a smaller house but compared to the one we're about to check out it's uh, that one's beautiful I mean look at that nice yard and then you're going to come over here and you're going to see the 2.25 million dollar property that is seven bedrooms seven baths it is 7600 square feet but it's on over three acres of land as well absolutely amazing built in 2016 uh, it's right around i think 290 a square foot or so but 
it's beautiful look at that kind of slope look at the hill i don't know can you see the hills kind of back there you know my biggest complaint as i've said with dallas all the time is it's mostly flat but you get out here outside of dallas a little bit some of these areas i mean look at all the trees the trees the kind of the the rolling uh, hills so to speak uh, you just get a little bit of some elevation out here and that's what i absolutely love uh, just outside of around dallas it's not really in dallas but again amazing property right there if you want to be up in the two plus million dollar range if that's your budget definitely give us a call we can help you out on this one but it's it's really amazing and uh, custom built and so you can see there's another house look pretty good size right back in there uh, on the downside of the hill but again all this fence line out here and again you are right down the road from all of the brand new commercial space so you're you're not out here on your own uh, in the middle of nowhere you are you have everything you absolutely need in downtown fairview and then on top of that you're close to i-75 so if you even need to get to downtown dallas you can do that as well that's going to be about a 30 probably 30 to 35 minute commute and so uh now you're going to be on the it's probably going to be about 35 to 40 minutes to get to the airport so that's something that you just want to keep in mind as well but other than that you really have uh, a lot of great options out here. If you want a little space, you want to feel like you're in a little bit of the country here in uh, Dallas, but then also be right in the middle of everything. So I tell you what, nobody ever talks about Fairview. And again, one of the absolute best school systems in all of Dallas uh, and in Collin County, which again, Collin County has Frisco, Plano, Prosper, Melissa, Anna, all these you know areas that have great school systems already. And Lovejoy ISD here in Fairview is ranked number two out of them and number 10 in the state of Texas for public school system. I think that's pretty amazing. So just something to, to keep in mind. But even, yeah, look at this. Look at this house. Uh, just an old farmhouse. That's what I love right there. That's I think that's just nice and quaint. Beautiful fence line, manicured yard, nice landscaping. I mean, I absolutely love that right there. That is, that is uh, awesome. It's got... You know again got some little hills down there this is a beautiful area i tell you what fairview is overlooked uh, and so you definitely want to keep it on your list if this is something that's kind of your style where you want to have some space even in the you know the fours five sixes in that range six hundred thousand, you can still find a, uh, some properties with a little space on them so definitely something to consider and keep in mind so with that, um, let's uh, kind of cruise around here. Uh, we'll cruise around down there a little bit more and check it out. And then we'll wrap up this vlog with uh, probably a little bit of a market report on Fairview, just so you can get an idea. And then, uh, you know, we'll take it home from there. So let's go, uh, let's go for a cruise. All right, so let's take a quick look at the market report for Fairview. And as you can see here, 61 homes on the market. That's a 7.8% increase in the last 30 days. And again, Fairview is a smaller area or smaller market, smaller population. Uh, and again, uh, let's see, but a 7.8% increase in homes in the last 30 days, that is a good sign because of course, as we move into summertime, then, uh, then people are looking to move or to sell their homes. Those that have been holding out to list their homes 
are now listing them and putting them on the market. So that's a good thing. So, you know, of course, summertime is always a popular time for people to move, not just buyers, but also sellers as well. So people are making those adjustments and we're seeing a little bit uh, additional inventory come on the market, which is always a good thing, uh, especially in this market. Uh, days on market, 55 days. Uh, so that's a decrease, um, not that much though off market homes that have gone off market that hasn't had no change you can see the average home price around 994,000 with the average sold price being around 729,000 but you can see here uh, only three price reductions in the last 30 days and that's a 200 percent increase so uh, pretty much homes are selling for at listing price or probably even slightly above and uh, you can see that's a 6.8 percent increase on the average sold price so again, not a lot of reductions, but hey, you know, this is probably going to be some more expensive homes. Usually, uh, I would assume that would be the case. I haven't dug into those stats uh, specifically, but that's what I would assume is that that could be in the million, two or $3 million range. So uh, let's see, average price per square foot, 262. That's higher than most uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But again, out in Fairview, you're getting larger homes you're getting larger lots you're getting acreage so it makes sense that you're going to pay a little bit more on a price per square foot but if you're coming from california or new york then this is still relatively low to what you're likely used to so 27 homes sold in the last 30 days no change there sold to listing ratio let's see uh, we got a 2.983 million 2.9 million uh dollar property on the market that's the most expensive. I wonder if we just take a quick look at this one, what it has to offer so you can kind of get an idea. Okay, no bedrooms or baths, so it looks like just the land. Let's see, house sold as is, so uh, tear down. Oh, yep, either tear down or major reno. So, but 5.97 acres, almost six acres. So that's what you're getting for uh, 2.9 million. I wonder, they can't be talking about that house, are they? I wonder if, is that the house that's on it? Maybe it is. Are you telling me that's a, that's a teardown? <laughs> that looks like a lot of house to tear down. It must be in pretty bad shape if that's the house that's on the market. Well, not much to see there. Let's go back here. Let's look at this. Here's a $400,000 house. Uh, typically what you're going to find in the Fairview area for, uh, you know, at the starting point. And again, I think I mentioned this at the very beginning. 400,000 is probably going to be the lowest price point. You might find something a little bit, but otherwise uh, this is more of a, uh, in a, you know, more, more of an expensive area in the Fairview. So 400,000 probably going to be the starting point. This is a really, looks like a really nice home, uh, large plantation shutters all throughout. Those would be pretty expensive if you were to do those yourself. Looks like some nice cabinetry in here, dark wood cabinetry that you'll see that a lot here in Texas. I, I like it a lot. Let's see the light stone for the island and the countertops. That's a nice contrast to the cabinets. So, uh, you know, built in a stove there, gas stove. Otherwise, looks like it's in pretty good shape. I would say this is probably built around 2014, 20. Oh, look at there. There you go. Looks like you have a either a golf course or a green belt or a green space or you know something along uh, in your backyard i like that when you have the open fencing let's see what we have in here blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> uh, let's see uh oh open to a green belt so there you go it's a green belt and uh this is a three bedroom two bath home for four hundred thousand two thousand eighty three square feet that's not bad. And I said, what, 2014? I think that would probably, oh, 2012. So it was built in 2012. Looked like around that time frame. So there you go. Uh, but I love this backyard area. You don't feel so boxed in. Probably gonna get some really nice sunsets back there. Great to have a drink on your patio. Yep, got a little bit of a covered patio there that you can hang out. Skip out on some of the sun over there. A nice crepe myrtle in the corner of your property there. But again, you just got that whole open area to the green belt. So that should mean that they're never gonna build back there. Of course, anything's open to change, but with the green belt, normally that is preserved uh, space back there, which is great because again, you don't feel boxed in, you're not uh, on top of your neighbors. So that would be a really, um, that'd be a good home. I think that would be a good home, especially for 400,000. Let's just take a quick look at the 1.69 million. If you don't mind, we'll just jump in here real quick. I'm just kind of curious as to, uh, look at this one. 
1.695, four bedrooms, four baths, 4,300 square feet, built in 2002, 4.3 acres. All right, here you go. Got you a nice property, 4.3 acres. Wow, look at that pool and backyard area. That's what I'm talking about, man. If you're gonna get some acreage and some uh, a bigger house, look at that. So you're gonna have that sunset right off in the back over there. Those look uh, kind of like two car garages almost, uh, two two car garages. So uh, look at that whole open back area. That's really nice. You got space for a garden. I love, man, I love this property. Uh, that looks like concrete floors. Looks like polished concrete floors in there. Yeah, because this looks like wood floors going over here. Nice staircase, interesting, nice study. Large vaulted ceilings, wood beams hand scraped hardwood floors. Again, that entry point looks like, um, uh, look at that kitchen, you got the plantation shutters in here as well. Wow, look at that, very, very rustic, very Texas country <laughs> style kitchen there. So if that's what you're looking for, there you go. Large master, all right. I'm just kind of skipping through. I'm trying to see if there's any more in the backyard. Any? Oh, got a nice theater room, look at that. Nice theater room in there. That's really nice. Well, I love that whole area, that backyard. That's an amazing backyard. And then I'm just curious, uh, does it have the garage spaces on here? Uh, with a oh, pool, four bedrooms, plantation shutters throughout the house. We saw those. That's, that's uh, no HOA. Huh. No HOA, which allows for the addition of a tennis court. Well, there you go. Uh, if you've always wanted to put a tennis court in your backyard. And I didn't see the parking spaces on here. Uh, two stories. So anyways. Uh, okay, four. Yeah, so uh, I was right. There was, it uh, looks like, double two-car garages. So there you go. Man, that's a, that's a pretty nice house you got there out in the country. 4.3 acres. 1.6 million, not too shabby. So that pretty much sums up Fairview. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas or Fairview. And again, I absolutely love Fairview. It's just right there, uh, very unknown. Uh, just a lot of people don't really know about it, but it's still close to everything. And it is one of the best school systems, not just in the Dallas area, but in all of Texas. And so, uh, you know, if you found this helpful, then please uh, give us a thumbs up. Also, just comment below if you live in Fairview or if you used to live in Fairview before, what you like about it or maybe even what you didn't like about it. Uh, since a lot of people from out of state read these comments and watch these videos, it really helps them a lot when you do that. And until next time, well, we hope to see you around town.